Hey Tosh, do you have any more um, mysterious statements about how oh, this feeling must be? You look haunted. You've been seen into the spirit world, and you learned something you don't like. It's Kerrigan. Seems the Overmind made Kerrigan to free the Zerg from something that put him on a collision course with the Protoss. It's all gone wrong. Everything's twisted. And there's something out there that's set to destroy us all. Zerg. Protoss. He's a strong recess. How terrible. How powerful is something that plays with their feats? Pretty damn strong. Tonight on UNN, another world has broken into open revolt, and Emperor Manx still refuses to give any interviews. Is the Dominion falling apart around us? I will rule this sector, or see it burnt to ashes around me. In this reporter's opinion... Oh, Minsk is in deep now. He can burn for all I care. He probably will. Yeah, that's just the stuff we've been getting money, which is why... We should get a fair bit of money once we click the laboratory. And click here. Money! Money! We're now almost at 400,000. Of course, we don't need an upgrade for the next mission. But first, let's check the armory. Swan? You know, I've been watching the logs. Those damn Protoss are still way ahead of us. I can't believe some of the stunts they can pull off. Tell me about it. They've learned some new tricks since the last time we fought. I mean, come on. Since when could they warp in guys just anywhere? I thought they needed some kind of gateway, at least. Not just anywhere. They need a pylon or another power source close by. Still, they've been working to improve their tech, just like us. Yep, that's the best bits. Matt? Damn, Matt. I don't even know what to make of this last vision from the crystal. Zeratul was looking for more clues about the end of the universe. But this time, he was on Ire. Ire? What was he looking for? He was trying to find out why the Overmind made the Queen of Blades in the first place. She's the one that's going to destroy the universe? No. That's just it. I think she's the only one that can save it. Yeah, well, we'll see about that one. But, how about that last vision? Now, friend Raynor. You must see the Overmind's vision of the future. The end of my people, and of all things. This is our fate, should Kerrigan die. That's not cool. The end of all things... Doesn't sound very fun. We should, uh, we should, we should, uh, try to avoid that. I don't think I want to see any vision of the Overminds. But if Kerrigan's involved, I need to know. On a distant shadowed world, the Protoss will make their final stand. Their heroes will gather. Their forces will be marshaled. And they will die bravely. But still, they will die. And my Zerg will be slaves to the hybrid. All will bow before the power of the Fallen One. Protoss brethren, heed me. The last twilight has fallen. The galaxy burns around us. The Terrans have been consumed. We are all that stands against the Shadow. But if we are to meet our end this day, then we will do so as one. 
and Taro Tassadar! That's right. This is a last stand type of mission. So, all we gotta do is live. As long as we can. And, well, that means that we are going to lose this mission. But the entire point. Great one, the vault is prepared. Guard us while we preserve our knowledge for those that may follow. They must not make the mistakes we did. So the point is to try to live as long as we can. Uh, because we want to get. Okay, we make sure there's. Okay, all the assembly stuff. Um, we need to survive until at least 25 minutes to get the Protoss Archive protected for the research. Now, granted, we are already maxed research, so if we don't get it... I have rallied the last of our great fleet. Your it's not a huge deal. Is impeccable, Admiral Barun. When the enemy takes to the air, we will need your support. And the Graviton Beam, Roy. which is awesome. As you see. So, let's start building. Um, this is going to end up being mostly a air-based. This is mostly going to be a uh, air mission. So, to mark those as four. But to the start, we're gonna want a fair bit of uh, uh, Protoss land units, so it's all about the gateway. What we're gonna do here is we can bring them up into the air and, of course, kill the air units. And we need all the units here to be ready with attack. No, 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 go back. That's a problem when you press the, um, the F2 button. Are swarming at our flanks. We have to react quickly or our perimeter defenses will fall. This is true. Which is always a good idea to have plenty of cannons. They are quite useful. I wish the observers weren't uh, counted in. Um, if you lift them up with phoenixes, they can't actually attack. Observers, go back where you were before. Need you to be able to protect. And then we need to have... Okay, here we go. We got the fleet. We got plenty of phoenixes to be possible built. We're going to start by building plenty of... Um, Units for other things. Uh, we will not be able to upgrade our. Uh, where's the cyber score? Attack. Hold on. I will erase the demon of the past. Of Alright. Plenty of those. Um, four is four, 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 four. Now, yes, yeah, we, we can only build those, which are not that good. However, we oh, we need to build a dark shrine. Build a dark shrine. We can spawn in dark templars, and they're going to be very useful. I also want to build another uh, seventy-six core, so that we can upgrade, because we're going to need plenty of air upgrades. Shozak Magno. And All some soccer. Shall be remade in my name. Behold, my greatest creation. What's your greatest creation? I don't like the sound of a great creation. Oh god. The hybrids. Graviton beaming those is very useful. 
as is feedbacking them. If they have actually an energy. Commands. Stalkers are very useful for this. But we're waiting for as this continues, we will gradually get more. I'm detecting a large amount of Zerg activity in their hive clusters. Prepare for an assault. I'm prepared. I'm super prepared. I will erase the demon. Oh my god, look at that. Omega Lisk. They're trying to sneak in. Build some more cannons here. Glory to the first. My virgin is under attack. Oh, they're coming from this side too. There's got to be a lot of that. Just sort of spawning in. Let's get some Dark Templars up in this. No, they're through. See, they don't have uh, reveals with them at all times, so there's a fair bit of that that could be pretty useful. So many Zergs. Kind of pointless to save them. Um, the Phoenixes for Surgeons, obviously. These are anti air only, but they can do stuff like this, which is the cool bit. Oh, there we go, that's in hybrid. Our void rays are ready to do the I'll oh, get the void race as well, lovely. That's good, that means we can start our real building our fleet here. And it's gonna be quite useful. We're gonna make sure to upgrade them as well. To its maximum. Minerals is gonna last us for a while, thankfully. Build some more Dark Templars on the ground. We've got 15 minutes more to protect our archive. You That's gonna be enough. Um, Proby body. Maybe some more cannons here. They're always good. Good. One, two, three, four, six. I will erase the demons of the, the void race do plenty damage, especially the big my guy, Mahander. Is my own. Prismatic beam keeps doing more and more I damage as it goes, which is pretty cool. Gotta protect this archive, guys. We have a little bit of time to relax, but not long. We're gonna be honest, not too long. Sneaky little bastards. You address me. The cannons do seem to just drop, but they're useful because they do eat up like some early hits that will normally otherwise go to stuff like the pylons, etc. So they are useful to keep around. Build a few. And then we are out of money, but we'll get more. The fleet is growing, and it is about to upgrade to maximum. Oh, we need a fleet beacon. Oh, we have a fleet beacon. Um, it says we have a fleet beacon. There it is. It's going good so far, guys. We are hitting 500, we need to get at least 1500. And survive for 10 minutes more, 12 minutes more. I think I want to build some more phoenixes. 
And there's plenty more of them coming. You address me, Channel. I will erase the demons of the past. And some more void rays. They are 250, yeah? Yeah. So the fleet's Just building! This is one of those maps where you can't really afford to sit around and wait with nothing but money in the bank. It's all about building here. Got to be ready to use the G on... Um, do we have any Templars left at all? No, we don't. They died. We have Dark Templars, obviously, but... No. High Templars. Otherwise, they're useful to do feedback on the caster hybrids, just because it burns a lot of their mana. But... Man, be quiet. Oh, snap. It's fine. We'll kill them instantly as soon as they show up. Glory to the firstborn. Put some more. You have not oh, we're running out of money. This is the hour of truth. No Yes, we got the carriers. This is going to be awesome. Now that's going to drain. Executor Selendis. The female proto is one of the few we've known, and she's pretty badass. And she's leading a pretty awesome carrier ship. The interceptors do a lot of damage. Um, and yeah, the carriers are the core of a Protoss fleet. The way they work, they shoot out smaller ships that attack and basically it's being awesome. So that's from now what we're going to keep building. However, they are expensive. So we can't build that many. Got a whole bunch of hero units now. Salendis, Mahandar, Arun, and Saratul. Here we go. You address me. Good, good, good. Hey, buddy. I build. You require more. Yeah, Vespin gas is gonna start draining. Because we are out of minerals. This is the last stand, guys. But the fleet is looking very impressive. You require more Vespine gas. So sometimes it feels like we should use something else, but we have to just sort of wait for the money now. We got three, 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 and the, all the income. There's, there's plenty of stuff left. It's all about having the current time to actually use them. Eventually, I think once the archive falls, we're going to have to move up here and keep it more of a defensive standpoint. This is the executive. Back in StarCraft 1, when um, I wasn't as good, and the people I played with wasn't as good, this was generally how I played Protoss. I stayed in my base, very defensive, didn't even go out, didn't do any sort of attacks, until I eventually had a big enough fleet, and I just rolled over them. Also, the um, carriers have, need to build interceptors, and they actually cost minerals. Which cost money. So they will, like, as they keep interceptors, continue to lose minerals. However, we are pretty fine on minerals. That's not really what we're losing mostly. Oh, and we are now at max. We cannot go above 200. So the money is now going to start rolling up. And make sure we have got everything upgraded, of course. Um, could be a good idea to upgrade... Where's the forge? Shields. Because that works for uh, air units as well. the demons of the past. My burdens weigh. The fleet moves. This is a pretty sweet damage, and as long as we have the graviton beams ready to float up the big hybrids, we're pretty good. 
We could use Void Prison as well, but it's a lot harder to click with Saratul. This poor Phoenix is not a 12. As I was your beginning, so shall I. Dark voice. Can't even tell me what your name is. There we go. So many lasers. The phoenixes aren't really doing anything, but they don't really do anything, I guess. I love how this is signed, like this has just come out of the fog. Okay, let's stay inside, because we want to have the additional help from the photon cannons. Oh, the sneaky bastards. Oh, there's a hybrid. Oh, he's dead. He did. Did we lose anything important? No, maybe a cannon. Oh, we're moving over there, guys. And here as well. We can move only the phoenixes over here. Burn down pretty quickly. We haven't actually lost any units, but we are losing maybe buildings. See the beauty of the Dark Templars there is if you place them there, you can sort of block their path. It's a bit of a, a bit. Of, it feels a bit cheap, honestly, but it is doable. If you're doing this on harder difficulties, it's something you might want to have to do. Careful, Phoenixes. You don't want to be in range. These are all still alive, all still alive, good, good. There's gonna be a lot less of that now. See, they have the observers now, so they can actually see our cloaked units. Which is, yeah, big deal. Anyway, you managed to hold them back. It's only two minutes for the archive. It's exactly what we need. And we're just rolling in the money. Even the constant uh, interceptor building isn't really draining our minerals, so... Make sure to upgrade. More shields. We've got max air units now. Oh, here we go. More of these. I will erase the demons of the past. It was beautiful. Phoenixes didn't exist back in uh, StarCraft 1. Um, in original StarCraft 1, so what I used with the carriers was the scouts. Which uh, exists in the single player game in this, but not in the multiplayer. And in the Brood War, eventually they came a unit called the Corsair, which was also sort of like the Phoenix. The Phoenix is a better version of the Corsair, basically. They did light splash damage to air, so they're good against stuff like Mutalisks and smaller units. And they also had a, a disruption field that they put on the ground. It was mostly used for static defenses, but also worked on units. Of course, the way Phoenix work, they just pull them up, which is a specifically target unit. However, it does not work on massive units, such as Colossus and so on. Shozak Magnol. Shozak Magnol.